Hey, what's up everybody? We are back today tracking down all of the pieces associated with the Fall Mosaic Collection. Now, if you are a subscriber to the channel and you know we already have videos on the channel for tracking all this stuff down. However, uh, with the Fall Collection specifically, there are two pieces that uh, through patches... Uh, their locations uh, either changed or they actually showed up in the game where they weren't there before at all uh, when the game came out. As well as uh, there has been some confusion around uh, using the other videos. Uh, I don't know. Don't, don't ask. But uh, some people have had questions and I thought the best way to handle it was just to put a video out that I could uh, point everybody at that was up to date as of the latest patches as well as all of the DLCs being installed. So everything you see is completely up to date. It's completely accurate uh, both on the PC and the Xbox One. Once again, I haven't tested PS4. Uh, there's I can't imagine it being different on PS4, but whatever. It's one thing I haven't tested, but uh, that's it. So if you uh, saw the splash screen that came up when the video started, the pieces were numbered 1 to 12. Those are the uh, positions they appear on the wall in Skyhold. And if you reference the video description down below, those are numbered 1 to 12 to sections of the video that help you find the individual pieces. So I hope this helps you track them all down a little bit easier. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. All right, number one is going to be found out in the hinterlands down south at Lornan's Exile inside the keep that's down there. Lornan's Exile is south of where you enter the zone at Outskirts Camp, down here south of Dwarfson's Pass Camp, and right down here where you see us at on the map right now. Once you get down here, you'll run into Speaker Anais. She'll let you in the keep. Once you get inside the keep, hang a right and head up these stairs. And then up this ladder. Oh, how we love the climbing of the ladders. And once you're up this ladder, guess what? One more ladder. Yes, love the ladders. All right, so once you get up to the top of this ladder, you're going to be at the top of the tower. And it is at the top of the tower that you will find piece number one. So it'll be over here on the left near these barrels. So we'll go ahead and grab this. And now we'll head back to Skyhold. Skyhold, yes. And we'll go back and check out its position on the wall so that you know nothing hanky is going on. And the one we pick up is number one. And there's no video editing, as it has been claimed in the past, that's going on to uh, misrepresent where these appear on the wall. So, oh, we love the loading screens. There was something to do to speed up the loading. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. All right, we're going to head up these stairs into Skyhold. Now, the Fall Mosaic is actually going to be located inside uh, the area where Vivian hangs out. So you're going to want to head up towards the throne and then hang a right right here. We'll go up these stairs, and once you get to the top of the stairs, you're going to hang another right and into Vivian's area. Vivian likes to hang out up there, and the Fall Mosaic is going to assemble itself right here. So you can see this is the first piece in the collection up in the top left. We will be back with number two in just a moment. All right, number two. So number two is going to be located just north of the Upper Lake Camp, which is found to the west of the Outskirts Camp, which is the first camp you come to when you get in the zone. Head out to the Upper Lake Camp, and then we're going to head down here, kind of close to that marker that's on the map. That's not a precise location, but you'll see when we get down there. From the Upper Lake Camp, uh, just head down. Off to the right, you can find a little path that drops you down into the uh, area to the north of it. And you'll come out onto the battlefield now here. And if you haven't dealt with the mages and the Templars yet, there is going to be a bit of battle going on out here where you're going to have to contend with some mages and Templars and whatever. But once you get out here... See, I told you that wasn't quite the right location. You're looking for this uh, kind of uh, broken down wooden house that's right here. And you're going to head around to the front of it, hop up on this ledge, and right inside here, past this debris on the ground, you're going to find number two. So we'll go ahead and grab that. 
and then we will head back to Skyhold and go check out its location. It will be in position number two next to number one, which we found in the previous section of this video. And more loading screens. At some point you think it would cache this stuff, so, you know, it, Skyhold hasn't changed since the last time you were there. It should be able to load pretty quickly back into it. Maybe. Maybe not. Let me just stare at the endless black screen of death, not to be confused with Windows blue screen of death, which no one ever wants to get. But anyways, we're back at Skyhold. We're going to head up into the keep. And once you're inside the keep, you're going to hang a right right before the throne, and we're going to head up into Vivian's area where she likes to hang out. And it is up here at the top of the stairs. You'll take a right, and right here on the wall, you'll see there is now piece number two. So we will be back with piece number three in just a moment. All right, piece number three is going to be located out here in the hinterlands, uh, just nor uh, south rather of the Upper Lake Camp. If you uh, come out to the hinterlands, you're going to start at outskirts camp. Upper Lake Camp is going to be west of that. From the Upper Lake Camp, you're going to make your way up over here and around the lake and near this map marker is where you're going to find the mosaic piece. So from Upper Lake Camp we're going to head all the way around till we can get a path that takes us up to where the lake is. You may fight some bandits up here if you haven't been up here before but once you get up the top of the path you will see the lake. You're going to head all the way across to the other side of the lake. Now, if you haven't recruited uh, Blackwall yet, this is the location that you're going to also uh, encounter Blackwall for the first time and pick him up as well. But keep crossing over until you get to the other side of the lake, and you see that little house there. And it is just outside the house here near the chimney that you're going to find your third fall mosaic piece. So we'll grab that. And then we will go to our map, head back to Skyhold, and check out its position on the wall next to number two. I need to play some Jeopardy music as we're doing this, as we load between the various sections. Normally I edit this shit out, but uh, if you've been seeing some of the comments that have come through over the past year or so about people... Saying things aren't in the right position, and then it's because I'm claiming they're one place when they're not, and I figure the best thing to do is just to show you how it works out without uh, editing the video. Now that we have some uh, a decent internet connection, we can uh, upload some larger videos. We're going to head back into Skyhold, up towards the throne, and we're going to hang a right right here and head up to where uh, Vivian hangs out all the way to the top of the stairs, hang another right, and you will see here on the wall, number three is right there next to number two. So that's it for this one. We're on to number four in just a moment. All right, number four is going to be located out in the hinterlands down at the Grand Forest Villa. You're going to find this south of the forest camp. If we zoom out just a little bit, here is the Upper Lake Camp as well. If you don't have the Grand Forest Camp, the Upper Lake Camp is the best jumping off point for getting to the Grand Forest Villa. Uh, from the Upper Lake Camp, you would just head down up to the lake and then cross over and head back down in this direction, and it'll bring you up and around to the uh, entrance of the Grand Forest Villa. This is also called the Mercenary Fortress for the quest that's out here. But once you get out here, I'll show you the path of least resistance in order to get this, i.e. the path you need to take in order to fight the fewest guys. So head up across that bridge, and we're going to go up this hill, and we're going to swing around the back of the fortress. Now, you can go right inside and get to this, but as I said, I wanted to show you the path of least resistance. So we'll head around the back side of the fortress and head all the way to the top of this hill here. And once you get to the top of this hill, you're going to see... A little tower right here. We're going to head inside the tower and then climb up this ladder. Once you get up to the top of the ladder, you will uh, find 
my favorite thing in the world, which is more ladders. But uh, once you get to the top of the tower, you're actually going to uh, pick up your mosaic right over here near a little battlement that is just ahead of us. We'll go ahead and grab that. That will be mosaic piece number four. And then we'll pop out of here and head back to Skyhold and check out its position on the wall up where Vivian likes to hang out. Da, 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 da. Ah, there we are. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We're going to head up inside Skyhold. And once you get inside, head back towards the throne. And before we get to the Undercroft, Inquisitor? there is a door on the right-hand side. I'm going to take this door, head up the stairs, around to the right once you top the stairs. And you will see that that was piece number four. So we are on to piece number five in just a moment. All right, piece number five is going to be found out in the hinterlands inside Fort Connor. Fort Connor is going to be located north and west of the Upper Lake Camp. So from the Upper Lake Camp, we are going to uh, take this little path Inquisitor. on the right-hand side all the way down to the battlefields. So if you haven't dealt with the Mage and Templar threats out here yet, there are going to be a bunch of mages and Templars out here doing battle. They will absolutely not just ignore you and fight each other. They will, in fact, engage you as well. So it can be a little bit tenuous uh, picking this one up while the battle is going on. But uh, proceed as you wish. But make sure you head up towards Fort Connor. Once you get up in here, there will probably be more guys to fight, depending on where you are in the game. But head inside Fort Connor, and all the way back here near the landmark, you are going to find your fifth mosaic piece sitting here on the floor. So go ahead and grab that. Pop out of here, head back to Skyhold, and check out its position on the wall. Do we hum the Jeopardy theme song again? Nothing is changing in Skyhold. Like, seriously, can we cash this and not have a 20 second fucking load every time you go back to Skyhold. I never understood this. Oh, God. Hey, there we go. Alright, so now we're back in Skyhold. We are going to head up the stairs inside the keep, back towards the throne, and on the right hand side. We're going to head through this door that leads up to where Vivian likes to chill. And we get to the top of the stairs, hang another right, and you will see there is piece number five. We'll be back with number six in just a moment. All right, piece number six is located north of Redcliffe Farms, which is right down here. All right, here is Redcliffe Farms Camp. You can see the path we took to get up here. There is a cave slash dungeon entrance right here. You're going to come from Redcliffe Farms Camp over here. Follow a path up and to the north. Cross a little stream, and that will dump you up here where the cave entrance is. You'll know it's the correct cave entrance because there's a Veilfire Brazier outside the front of it. Now I'll head down here just really quick to show you kind of where we came from. Here's the stream you cross over. Uh, you may fight some bad guys out here, depending on where you are in the game. They may be bandits, they may be venatory, but uh, regardless, head all the way up to the top and inside the dungeon entrance. Now, once you get in here, you're going to continue to head all the way down to the very bottom level because that is where... Oh, hey, look. Bad guys. So we already came through here and killed them off because I hate having fighting in the videos. But, alas, they respawned. So once you get down all the way to the bottom, your mosaic piece is going to be over on your right. And go ahead and grab that. That will be number six. We will head back to Skyhold. 
and check out its position on the wall. Yeah, this was that uh, mosaic piece that originally on when the game was really was bugged and you had to do some like crazy climbing into a you know half built out lacking graphics area where the uh, mosaic piece wound up being uh, placed. But they did wind up fixing it in a later patch, and now it's where it should have been all along. So hopefully we'll get to Skyhold sometime soon. And there we are. So let's head up inside the keep. Head back towards the throne and out to where Vivian usually is chilling like a villain. And through this door, up these stairs to the right and you will see that is piece number six we're halfway there we're on to number seven in just a moment all right number seven is going to be in a familiar location this is exactly where you were when you picked up number six however number seven is actually going to be not as far down as number six was so we're out in the hinterlands at Redcliffe Farms Camp Redcliffe Farms Camp as you can see is north and west of outskirts camp way over here on the other side of the map and here is the path we took to get up in here right so you're just going to head out from camp walk the path all the way up to the north and then cut across to this little stream that you see right here so you just kind of cut across from over there head over to the stream and you're going to head up to this cave that is uh, located at the top of this hill so go all the way to the top of the cave. Now, depending on where you are in the game, you may run into some venatory or some bandits down there at the stream and up here in front of the cave as well as in the cave. So all kinds of good stuff to kill. But let me show you where we are on the map one more time. So here's the cave entrance. Get rid of that map marker so you can see it right there. And you're going to know you're at the correct cave because there is a Veilfire Brazier out front. So that tells you that you're at the right cave. There are two of them out here. That's why I mention it. So to find this one, you are just going to head down into this uh, first section. And they're going to be over here on your right. So we'll go ahead and grab this. That is number seven. Hopefully those enemies haven't spotted us. And we can go back to Skyhold without killing them. Yes, look at that. All right. So now we are slowly traveling back to Skyhold. Oh, God. We're almost there, I promise. Any moment. Like right now. Now. See? Look at that. All right. So now we're back in. And we're going to head up the stairs into the throne room inside the keep. And head up to where Vivian usually hangs out. Inquisitor. Over here through this door. Up these stairs. And once you top the stairs, go ahead and hang a right. And over here, you see there is piece number seven. So we're back with number eight in just a moment. All right, number eight is going to be found actually inside Redcliffe Farms, just near the camp. You can see where the map marker is placed. It's around in that area, but here is Redcliffe Farms Camp. You're going to find that north and west of the Upper Lake Camp and the outskirts camp that you started at when you first got into the zone. So once you get up here to the camp, we're going to head west towards Redcliffe Farms. And once you get out here, jump over the fence, and it's going to be inside this little house here on the right. Now look, this door is not locked. This door is not closed. The only locked door in the camp is that second house right there that you see the braziers out in front of the uh, that are lit and burning. Okay, that is the only locked door out here. This door right here for this little dilapidated farmhouse is not locked. So uh, I've checked this on Xbox One and I've checked this on the PC. It's still not locked today. Uh, maybe the de devs hate people on PS4 and they've locked it. I don't know, but every time I've come out here, it's open. It's not locked. It's not even closed. So 
Uh, for those of you who have had problems with this door being locked, I really don't know what to tell you. But head inside, and your mosaic is over here on the right on top of this barrel. So we'll go ahead and grab this. This gives us number eight. We will head back to Skyhold and check out its position on the wall. Sorry, I wanted to make a point of mentioning that because I've gotten a number of comments of people telling me, oh, the door's locked, I can't get in. Uh, I, I don't know. It's, it might be PlayStation 4. I, I really, I, I have no idea. I've checked it on, you know, Xbox One and this, and it looks fine to me. So, I just don't know what else to say. Except that I hate these fucking loading screens. <laughs> Alright, so, we're gonna head back up into Skyhold. And inside the keep, towards the throne. Gonna hang a right... Inquisitor. Into this door. Up these stairs. Once you get to the top of the stairs, hang another right. And you will see that was piece number eight. So we will be back with number nine in just a moment. All right, number nine. Once again, starting at Red Cliff Farms Camp, you are going to head east towards the river and then north until you reach a barricade you can't get past, head up a little bit of a hill, and you're going to find this cave up here. Now, if you've already spoken to Master Dennett and his wife, this is the area that his wife sends you to to deal with the wolves that they're having problems with. The other thing to keep a note of when you come out here is there is a rift uh, right here on the map. So, depending on what level you are, that rift may be a little bit difficult to deal with. So, just a heads up about that. But you're going to find your mosaic piece located right about here. So, we are already out here in front of the cave. We're going to go ahead and head inside. You're going to deal with some wolves out here as well as a uh, something else. No, no, no spoilers here, but just FYI. There's something other than wolves lurking in this cave. We're going to head around here to the right. Keep heading around to the right. And as you get all the way up to the top here, you're going to see these rays of light coming through. And it's inside this little room where all these skeletons are on the floor that you're going to find your mosaic piece. So we'll grab that. That gives us number nine. And we will head to our quest map and back to Skyhold. And for most people, number 9 is actually, in the past, been number 12, because when the game first came out, that was the one mosaic piece for the, uh, for the fall that you could absolutely not get, because it did not exist in the game anywhere. Uh, it wasn't until a much later patch that they patched in uh, number 12 and made it accessible, so you could finally complete your fall mosaic collection, so... But we are numbering them as they appear on the wall to make things simple. So that's why we are considering that for this video, number nine. So once you get back to Skyhold, head inside the throne room, Worship. around to the right through this door, and up these stairs, all the way up to the top, hang a right. And you can see that was number nine. So we'll be back with number ten in just a moment. All right, number 10 can be found in a tower that is near the crossroads. The crossroads are going to be located north and west of Outskirts Camp, which is the first camp you come to when you're out in the zone. And I'm going to walk you over to where this one is because, A, it's closed, and, B, uh, I've had people tell me that it's uh, confusing navigating out here at the okay. beginning of the game. So I figured I'll just walk you over there and show you where it is. You're going to head out of camp, kind of heading north and east. We're going to head up here underneath this flag, past this brazier, and dip up to the left here. Alright, so you do not want to go through there to find this. You want to head over here, where you see these broken down towers, and this gate entrance. Now, please take note of the fact that there is a rift that will be out here if you haven't been out here before. It's going to be just inside the gate. But once you have dealt with the rift, hang a right and up this hill. You're going to find an entrance into this broken down tower. 
So we'll head inside the tower and find my favorite thing in the world, a ladder. We'll climb all the way to the top of the tower, and it is up there that we will find our mosaic piece sitting against the wall over here on the left. So we'll grab that. That gives us number 10. And then we'll head back to Skyhold and check out its position on the wall. There are no fun facts with this one. There were fun facts with the last two of them. I got nothing on this one. This one's always been there, has never moved. Just always been hanging out at the top of the long ladder. And we're waiting and waiting and waiting. And it's going to load in right now. Now? Now. See? It's close enough. It's cl hey, yeah, you know. Third time's a charm. That's what we say. All right, so up the stairs into Skyhold. And we shall head into this door right here on our right. Typically up here is where you're going to find Vivian hanging out. Once you get to the top of the stairs, hang it right. And you will see that was number 10. So we'll be back with number 11 in just a moment. All right, number 11 is going to be found inside Valimar. Now, Valimar is going to be located just south of the Upper Lake Camp, up near the lake, right? So Upper Lake Camp is west of the outskirts camp. So head over there, and you are going to make your way up and around the lake. There's a reason I'm not taking you there just yet. Hang on. And you'll find the entrance to Valimar. However, the door is locked. If you don't have the key... You need to head down here to the Mercenary Fortress and the Grand Forest Villa. Kill off the boss, and it's on a desk where the boss was hanging out that you uh, discover the key and you can loot it. So once you have that key, then you can get inside Valimar. So I will meet you inside Valimar in just a moment. Alright, welcome to Valimar. Now once you get inside here, you are going to find a bad guy hanging out right here. Kill him off. There are two more over here on the left where you see those boxes. There are also going to be four or five of them up here. I think four. So you got to kill off. There are a bunch of card of dwarves, so like rogues and stealth, guys with bows, etc., etc. Nothing too terrible. Going to head across the upper terrace here and down to the stairs. Once you get down to the stairs, head all the way down to the bottom. And once you get down to the bottom, you're going to see a couple dwarves down here uh, fighting against a dark spawn. Kill off the dwarves, kill off the dark spawn, cross the bridge, and once you reach the other side, you're going to find a locked door. You're going to need a rogue to open this door, so use your handy dandy lock picks and crack this door open. Once you get inside, there's going to be an urn over here on the right. Go ahead and loot the urn because it is inside there you're going to find a dwarven gear grab that now head back the way you came back across this bridge and towards this door right ahead of you now inside the door if you haven't been down here before you are going to fight off the Carta leader and his minions but once they are dead you want to grab this other gear that is sitting here on the left now that you have both gears, you can now install them on the door here and crack open the vault. It is inside the vault that you are going to find number 11. And you will also find inside the vault a few darkspawn who want to give you hugs. So don't let them. This is a strictly Noah hugging darkspawn mission. Some people here. make their living. So we're gonna head in here, in the deep kill roads. off these dark spawn. There are four of them, I believe. Not being too terrible. One left to worry about. Sometimes one of them likes to continue to hide, and yes, I have so much guard you can't even damage me. That's also because I'm like five thousand levels higher than you are. But I digress. All right. Um. Once you get up in here, there is a dark spawn that sometimes likes to hang out back here, even after you've killed off the other ones. Uh, you can see he actually came out in that battle, but just FYI, I don't want you to walk into a, somebody trying to kill you and you're not expecting. So go ahead and grab this one. All right, and that will be number 11. Now, we cannot fast travel from here. 
it's a pain in the ass but I promised that I would show you the uh, positions on the wall for the um, mosaics as we pick them up so that's what we're going to do it makes for a little bit longer video but um, I want to make sure you see that they appear where I'm telling you that they appear so the reason I said to kill off those two guys that hang over by the boxes when you cross the bridge is because you kind of head out that direction once you uh, get done picking up that mosaic piece so it just keeps you from having to get into too much more combat once you are done so we're going to head back across the bridge we took in order to get in here and back out towards the entrance where we can once again fast travel and then we will head back to Skyhold. Back to the hinterlands. Alright, from here we should be able to fast travel. Quest map. That's definitely not Skyhold. There we go. The loading screens is real, son. Day of could be California girl. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see here. So we're gonna head up the stairs and inside the keep uh, once again. Back towards the throne on our right. Gonna head through the door and up Why the stairs to where come? Viv likes to chill out, uh, take her afternoon tea and all that. Up to the top, hang another right, and you'll see that was number 11. We'll be back with number 12 in just a moment. All right, our 12th and final piece of the fall mosaic is going to be out in the hinterlands inside Valimar. Valimar is going to be located south of the Upper Lake Camp. Head to the Upper Lake Camp, make your way around here and up towards the lake, and you will find yourself out near this cave. Now, once you get up here, if you haven't been out here before, um, it's likely that this door is locked. You get a quest when you touch the door called Deep Trouble, I believe, and the quest will direct you down here to the Grand Forest Villa, also known as the Mercenary Fortress. Once you kill off the leader of the mercenaries out here, in his office all the way at the top of the villa you're going to find a key that will get you into Valimar if you're still having trouble tracking that down check the video description I'll put a link down in the video description to a video that'll show you how to get the key if you still have trouble with it but get all that together and then come back out here and head inside to Valimar and I'll meet you inside in just a moment and welcome back, or welcome, to Valimar. If you're continuing from uh, Part 11, welcome back. If not, then you're just looking for number 12, then welcome. So we are in Valimar, picking up piece number 12. When you get inside Valimar, you are going to find a bad guy hanging out right here, waiting to ambush you. Go ahead and pick him off. He's an archer. Also over here on the left, there's going to be an archer and a rogue who has stealthed. There's two of those guys over there in total. Sorry. Up here, there should be a couple more guys hanging out, either up here or in this room on our left. I'm guessing they're in that room since they're not outside, so we'll just skip them. And we'll continue across the upper terrace, down here towards the stairs. And down the stairs, we should find two archers fighting a dark spawn. Yes, indeed. We'll kill them off. We'll kill off this dark spawn. And then we will proceed across the bridge and get a random dark spawn spawn right on top of us. That's awesome. And once you get across the bridge to the halls of the elders, use your rogue to pick the lock to this door. And inside, you're going to find piece number 12. Now, that was piece number 12 of the Falk uh, Mosaic Collection. Obviously, that was the last piece and the only slot it could have taken up 
was the slot at the bottom right hand corner that we had vacant at the end of the last video so we're not going to waste time going back to skyhold just to verify that so anyways that's it for tracking them all down i hope this was a little bit easier to follow along with if you got something out of the video or you enjoyed it just watching it again uh, i'd appreciate a like on the video or a subscribe on the channel but as always thanks for watching take care